Welcome back to the He's Wrong, She's Right podcast. I'm your host, Andrew. This is my beautiful wife, Nona. Make sure you visit her website, nonaphelps.com, to find all the amazing pictures of her. Link is down in the description. The show is also presented by leanmaxmedia.com, America's Technology Center of Excellence. Link in the description. Click everything in the description, and you will make us happy. <laughs> That being said, I know something that doesn't make you happy, Nona. Waking up at 6.30 in the morning to have oh to clean up, clean up podcast dogs, explosive diarrhea on that the carpet. That was so fun on white carpet. Yeah. I, was down, I was down here at my computer because I was doing stuff for uh, podcast promotion this morning, as I do every launch morning to make sure we get visibility at you know, some... Some social media platforms don't let you schedule posts, so I have to go and manually do it. It's annoying. Mm -hmm. um, but I was sitting down here, and I had my headphones on, and I heard Chloe scream, Mom! Yeah! And I was like, thinking that it was her first woman moment. Oh, wow. Or, that never even crossed my mind. Or that the dog was dead. Those were, okay, yeah. Literally, her getting her period literally she, never crossed my mind. And she wouldn't, when I rounded the corner over here, she wouldn't talk. She just kept pointing. Oh. So I walked up there, saw it, came back down here, got you, took the dogs out. And I cleaned for the next two hours. Yep. Changed our breakfast plans. Mm, yeah, it changed everything. Yeah. But that's not what we're talking about today. That was just a... <laughs> we're not talking about was, diarrhea? No, that was a feel bad story to start your morning. Feel good for Nona for being so good at her motherness, but feel bad about the fact that she had to clean up doggy diarrhea that exploded all over the wall and door and desk and... The just only thing that was not chair. salvageable was Chloe's chair because it, was, it has those little beads in yeah. it. And so even if we took the case off. There was no sack yeah. that held them. It was just as was soon as like, you open the zipper. I'm sorry, girl. It has to go in the trash. So, and it was. That was the only thing she was sad about. <laughs> well, yeah. Why are you going to care about the carpet and the wall? They can be replaced or fixed or cleaned. A chair can be replaced also. Well, what I'm saying is, like, the, the wall doesn't have sentimental value to somebody. Yeah. Unless you're Andy from the office and you have, you punched the same wall multiple times. Oh, my God. I forgot like a, about you have that. Like a lovely relationship with the <laughs> I wall. I completely forgot about that. <laughs> um, so, talking about, a, talking about a bit of culture stuff today. Okay. Let's okay. talk culture. So, you said, and so, these are emergency episodes, just so you guys know. Um... Second and third episode we recorded on Friday. Audio was terrible on. We hadn't made any changes. From episode... What what came up today? 26? Sure. Yeah. Episode 26, perfectly fine. Episode 27, 28, trash. And there's been times when, like, we've had, like, a quirky, like, sound artifact in, like, the middle of an episode for, like, a brief second. Sometimes a couple seconds. But usually I can, like, fix just that moment. Or maybe it's not really a good part of the show anyways, and I just remove it. Mm -hmm. So it's not a problem. But when the entire hour-long episode is echo, 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 echo. Is that really what it sounded like? Oh, yeah. Wow. And it was, it was basically wide enough gap in the audio that it was, it was almost like we were repeating every word. With, oh, my gosh. So I would say I, and then, and then I, and then, and it, yeah. Yeah, no thanks. Okay. I understand why you had to trash it. Yeah. I tried. It I sucks tried. because we had some really good I tried conversation. Everything. I ran it through Audacity. I ran it through Handbrake. I tried to run it through Studio Audio filters on Vscript. I tried everything yesterday and couldn't salvage anything from episode 27. So I didn't even try on episode 28. Once I listened, it was the same thing. It was just. Wasn't even worth my time. So there goes two hours of filming, um, ingest time, all that kind of stuff. So I lost four to six hours of my weekend. 
It was more than that. You basically lost all of Sunday. Well, I was editing right. today's episode. But you were also yeah. genuinely trying to salvage yeah. those. So, now we're talking about pop culture and current okay. events. Pop and culture. Fun stuff. Which is something that you and I both don't really keep up with. No. So, I this, make is, fun of it. Yeah, this, is, this is a reach for both of us. Yeah. So, and you said this was last night, the... Uh, the roast. And, and this this actually would have been perfect if it would have came out last week. Will Ferrell revives Ron Burgundy. So my Ron Burgundy joke last week about reading the teleprompter, it would have gone perfect. It went right over my short head. Because that's on one of the, I think it's in the first movie. Okay. He reads every word and anything that's on the teleprompter. And somebody accidentally, instead of putting a period, put a question mark. So he was like signing off or saying, I'm Ron Burgundy. But because I had a question mark, he said, I'm Ron Burgundy. And the producer goes like, God damn it. You guys know he reads everything. In the- <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't know that. But yeah. okay. Anyways. So Tom Brady roast uh, mm-hmm. on Netflix that I'm not going to watch because I, I don't know. I'm not interested in roasts. I don't even understand why they exist i actually find them humorous i would actually watch it even though i could give zero fucks about tom brady i mean i just don't care because i these are funny people but it's like for the most part it's like they're little inside jokes and stuff and they're basically doing it for themselves okay I don't understand why Tom Brady was the subject of a roast anyways. Yeah, I have no idea. Was it his birthday or uh, was it some big what? milestone in his life? Did he get something from the NFL? I don't know. I'm reading and I don't really see. Uh, apparently Ben Affleck was there criticizing Patriots fans. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Eli Manning. It doesn't say what it was for. Okay. Good luck on ZipRecruiter. Oh, I'm talking about Bill Belichick. Yeah. Without Tom, you're nothing. I mean, kind of. He basically built that team around him. Mm-hmm. And then when he went to Tampa Bay, they definitely were not the same. You can build a team around a quarterback. You can't really build a team around really any other player. Because the quarterback is your offense's director everything has to go through the quarterback your play calling you know execution everything has to go through the quarterback so if you don't have a good quarterback you could have the best running back and the best wide receivers and the best line and everything and you'll probably win some games Mm -hmm. but if you have a really bad quarterback you have some flash in the pan had one or two good seasons or a couple of breakout games but then couldn't consistently produce the same then that's why you know when the when these players get drafted initially in their rookie first couple seasons they don't get paid that much money Mm -hmm. because the talent pool in college is enormous which makes it a lot easier for great players to stand out because they're competing against good players for the most part but then when you get to the nfl level everybody's generally just as good as you you're not going to stand out like you did in college Mm -hmm. every team there's only 32 teams in the nfl in division one fbs football so just one division and one subdivision of that division there's 132 teams or 134 teams Anyways. No, no, I'm just explaining it. So like it just with anything else, you know, like when you're in college for any career path, your peers, you know, are probably just at the same level as you. But then as soon as you go and get that, you know, corporate Fortune five hundred job, everybody that you work with is probably just as good, if not better, than you because they have experience. Same thing in sports. You could be the best athlete in the world. And you also have to be a good teammate. So there's a lot that goes into all of it. You you have to be a good coworker if you want to be successful in the corporate world. You have to be 
you know, sometimes you kind of have to create some problems. Sometimes you have to do some things to stand out depending on what you're in and whether or not you want to get paid or not. Yeah. You know, you got whistleblower people that are scared or, you know, get manipulated into not coming forward with certain things. So the whole Will Ferrell, uh, I'm not watching it. I guess you'll watch it. What are you looking no, at? No, I would only watch it if you were watching it. Are you going to watch the Met Gala? That's tonight. I've never. What is that supposed to be? It's just a fashion show? Yeah, it's a fashion show. For uh, famous people. For famous people, yeah. Just... Let's go back to the NFL real quick, okay. though. Um, so there's this NFL superstar, Tyreek Hill, who reportedly confirms he has 10 children yeah, and four just in this last year. So between him and Nick Cannon, who also has like 10 babies and multiple baby mamas, like eight different baby mamas or something. On football team. You need 11. Right. So between... Just those are two famous people. I'm sure there's more. Elon Musk, one of them also. He has multiple children with multiple baby mamas. Elon Musk also has more money than okay, you but could ever figure these, out what to do with. These men also have lots of money too. Money is not nearly much. No, no, I'm I'm not I'm not disagreeing with you. Okay. But then paired with Andrew's Tate's Tateism. Andrew Taint. Andrew Taint. Okay. Uh Taintism. Mm -hmm. Uh, about a week ago saying, if you don't have five children, you're gay, essentially, okay. and you're using your PP wrong. Um, so is there... No, no. He said, he said, if you're having sex for pleasure, you're right, gay. Right, right. But he also said that if you don't have five children, like, you're not a man. So is there... Does he even have five children? I have no idea. He's he's like paid half the people to be around him and to, and he's he's still kid. he's still going to court for sex trafficking yeah. or human trafficking whatever. Yeah. Um so is there a movement of men procreating on a larger scale to be more masculine? I'm genuinely curious. I doubt it. Um I definitely think there's more to it than just sticking their dick in it because they could use protection. They could, you know, I don't, I don't see use preventative how, measures to not have children. I think this is, they are intentionally having children to so, so pass on their. So I will say, and he might just be stupid enough to stumble upon this logic and then turn it into a, a taintism um other countries like china their population is dramatically falling off mm -hmm. because initially well the one child policy for however long that was it's not just china though the entire world's population is on the decline because uh, less and less people are having children well i think the u.s has just slowed down we have not our, our growth has slowed I believe down. the statistic is if it continues on this path, right. it will. Right. But India India overtook China for the most populous country in the world. Um, China's elderly, you know, can't prop up the country. This is why another big reason why nobody's afraid of China. China has no ability to fight a war with the likes of us or even Russia for that matter. And Russia actually doesn't even have that many people. I mean, we only have 330 million people roughly in the U.S. Russia has like 200 million people. And only a fraction of our populations are, you know, um, of the age where we can even be trained or be useful. Mm -hmm. um, you know, like we would, if if we had a full-on invasion and fight where we weren't like we were actually fighting to win not playing like we did in vietnam and how we did it in um afghanistan okay but if we went in there like we did to iraq in the 90s just fucking bulldoze the goddamn place okay it wouldn't they there was nothing they could do we We're, have i'm we, talking about yeah procreating yeah. to be more masculine yeah. so I'm, I'm getting to my point with that okay so because of the decline you run into additional problems. If you're not producing more children as a, as a population, 
and your elderly are living longer, mm -hmm. they are drawing longer from things like Social Security and pensions and other things like that that are a drain on the younger population. Okay. So we need more children. We need more immigrants bringing their children legally. So for him to go out and say, you need to have five or whatever, he's, he's stupid, because, especially the way that he delivered it. But having more children than, are, than the number of people in the relationship, I th we kind of talked about this. For every two people in a relationship, you should have at least three kids for the population to continue to grow. If you only ever have two, and they only ever have two, and they only ever have two, the population is just going to stay stale. You have tons of people these days that are opting to, as you said, not have children at all. Right. They call themselves dinks. Dual income without kids or doink, doink, I don't know. Dual, dual income, dual no, income kids. no kids. Yeah. Dinks. Yeah. Dual income, no kids. I've never heard that. Yeah. I just know all the people that are like, I don't want to bring somebody into this world or my financial situation. There's a, the world has never been better and it's also never been worse. There's always a fucking problem. There always will be. There's never going to be a perfect time. And even if there is a perfect time next year, there could be nuclear war. Are you going to say that? Oh, I feel bad for bringing this child in now. I wish I would have known. Like it's a dumb excuse. You're just, you don't want to have kids. Just say you don't want to have kids. Okay. So then you're saying it's for population expansion. Yeah. I believe that these men are doing it to be quote unquote more masculine. I don't see how or why. That they quite literally have reproduced and these children are taking on their names and that is an ego boost. You, okay. Sure. That's what I believe. There are kids, like I think Elon's, one of Elon's kids, um, I believe, doesn't use his last name and wants nothing to do with him or his money. So it doesn't always work that way. Right. No. I didn't say that it always works out, but I think that's the mentality behind it. Either way, it's an Andrew Taintism. He can shove it up his ass with the rest of his opinions. Isn't that actually where you're... No, the taint is between the ass and the balls, right? Yeah. Yeah. The gooch. I've never heard that. It's called the taint. We should have a... Uh, there should be a segment where it's me just introducing you to new words that you've never heard. That happens on the daily. I know. So but, but I don't make, know how we would. But if we make it an actual segment where I just present you with the word out of context, it'll have nothing to do with what we're talking about on the show. So you're not going to be kind of like in. how you told me about blanket party. And I was just yeah. like, so you guys are like circle jerking and yeah. like, no, no, that's not what a blanket party is. No. Nope. What episode did we talk about Blue Falcon on? Was it one of the ones that was deleted? No. Okay. So another thing that happened. Okay. What? Um, Some car crashed into the white house gate at a high rate of speed and the driver ended up dying mm. secret service says there's no threat okay. clearly they were trying to get in maybe right. they are no longer a threat. right 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 because they neutralized themselves yeah but look at this holy moly oh no that can't be that can't be the car that has to just be another fire it's just a <laughs> yeah, it's fire crash that sounds 95 so it's completely unrelated um i just saw on the semis and the bridge and stuff remind me of this. Okay. Uh, you know the, was that 11 foot 8 bridge or whatever it is in Durham? Yeah, yeah. Where they're always skinning the tops yeah. of the trucks. There was a whole new video and uh, the uh, caption was pretty funny. It was uh, something, man, of course I can't remember so it's not going to be as funny. It was It was essentially something about the top of this box truck getting peeled off. What was inside? Did it reveal something bad? No. Oh, bummer. But so this is this bridge, this overpass yeah. is notorious. Right. So wouldn't you know yeah. to avoid any route yeah. that goes under that bridge? There are so many videos as well that I've seen from the bridge where you know somebody will go slow underneath it. They think they're gonna if they creep underneath <laughs> it. 
And then they end up just getting like stuck. Uh, then there's ones where they go the speed limit mm -hmm. and it just shares the whole yeah, thing off. Yeah. Hmm. Tuna can. I wonder if it's all people who just aren't from the area and it, it's it's a way to weed out people from not North Carolina. <laughs> But it's like somebody, I remember somebody talking about this, posting about it, and it wasn't, it wasn't just about that bridge or overpass, but they were explaining that those signs are not updated. So when DOT goes out and mm -hmm. repaves the highway, they don't go out and remeasure it and put up a new sign. They leave the existing sign there. So you could have plus or minus depending on how and what they did to repave, you know, if it was just a new layer of asphalt where they grind up the top layer and pave more over the top of it gotcha so the, eventually the road but would you risk it just thinking oh maybe this is an old sign but that's that's the point is that they don't go out and change the sign every time so these these semi and truck drivers are counting on the fact typically that they have a large margin even if they pour an extra inch or two of asphalt that's not going to eat into like the two foot gap at least not right away. But for a small overpass like that, mm -hmm. where you're already cutting it close, and there can be all kinds of factors influencing your specific vehicle, you know, you could have uh, a really heavy load on the way in. So mm -hmm. your suspension is squatting and you make it through just fine. And then you unload and now you're sitting a little bit. Oh, higher. I never even yeah. thought about that. Yeah. That doesn't really happen for like semis yeah, because they don't really have. I wouldn't the, even risk it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, there's and and when stuff like that happens, they have to bring out you know all these other crews. They have to shut mm -hmm. down the whole thing, and so they have to make sure they have to like X-ray it. I know they have to do that for um, bridges over water. They mm -hmm. have to bring crews out there to X-ray and do all that kind of stuff. So, mm -hmm. hate to be that insurance company. Do you think that's drop on site? Like you're not renewing with us <laughs> after that claim? Uh, no. Would that fall under like you should have known? Like this is notorious. There's entire websites and YouTube channels and everything dedicated to. Again, if the person's from out of state and they had no idea, that's why I was wondering if if this is only people from out of state or yeah, out of right. town who are falling victim. Victim. Yeah, falling victim okay. to just hoping that they can make it through. Have you ever watched the Kentucky Derby? No, I haven't. I've never watched it, never gone. I've never even had a mint julep. One of the, uh, when we went I don't to, even have a big hat to wear, so. <laughs> when, when we went to um, Bald Head Island that one time, one of the, one of the what do they call it, the Triple Crown? I have no idea. I'm pretty sure. A horse race, period. Like the, Kentucky, the end. <laughs> Kentucky Derby, Preakness, and there's a third one. Okay. They're like, the, they're called the Triple Crown. Okay. Um, but one of them was on when you and I, we stopped at that bar when we were riding around on that mm -hmm. golf cart out mm -hmm. there last year. Yeah, yeah. And I, we went before. Right? It was like April when we went, wasn't mm -hmm. it? Yeah. yeah. So I feel like we had talked about it. And then I happened to be at the ABC store and heard an old lady talking with her friends. They were walking out how they were going to make mint juleps. Do you know how to make a mint julep? No, I don't even know what that is really. I don't know what's in it's it. Probably I, would, no, it's, I was guessing gin. I was just, I was just saying it's probably not vodka. It's, it's for old people. Yeah. It says gin. That's just my assumption. Well, people like the educated barfly would say that's for cultured because it's, it's. Uh, I've never what, had gin. What do you? Uh, what's it called when like they have like flavor profiles? Like they can pick up the scents and the, mm -hmm. the textures. And, it's aromatic. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. So I'm just saying random words. Again, I've never had gin. Gin and juice is or used to be popular. Um, who's who sang that song? No idea. Is that Snoop Dogg? No. Mm. Maybe it's Three Six Mafia. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I don't know rap that well. I used to know a little bit of rap, but I don't know. So Mystic Dan okay. wins the Kentucky Derby by a nose. Look at that. That is the finishing shot. Wow. Is that normal? I don't think so. I Oh, I was going to say, it they'll seemed... Make a, they'll make a movie out of it, it now, though. It seems like that would be a normal thing. They'll make a movie Because it's it. always the best of the best competing against each other, so it's always yeah. going to be a tight race. This guy, number two right here, that lost. Mm -hmm. He's probably having a purge for being overweight. 
Is the and he's probably is... like a hundred pounds soaking wet. <laughs> yeah, the horse's owner is probably really pissed. You're fired. The thoroughbred straight to jail. The thoroughbred had entered the race with eighteen to one odds, a long shot compared to the favorite fierceness, which had three to one odds. Mm. Like one by the official ruling was won by the horse's nostril over Sierra Leone. Wow. I'm always interested in, in reading the horse's names though. It's like boat names. They're just a bunch of gibberish. Mm-hmm. If I had a if I had a thoroughbred racehorse, I would just call it horsey McHorse face. Like Perfect. Boaty McBoat. Yes, face? exactly. Okay. I'm still mad that the Coast Guard didn't keep that name. They didn't? No. Why not? I thought that was the whole thing. It was a contest, right? Yeah, but then once it caught traction and people only voted for that name, they're like, no, we want. So they went with option number two, which is like, yeah. Lame. Yeah, exactly. You never told me that they didn't yeah. stick with it. You told me that it won. So I thought that they actually used it. Yep. Lame. That was, a hundred, that was the 150th race. Wow. I'm so. I'm sure you are. Excited. I'm sure you are. Wow. Amazing. Do you think do you think horse racing is more popular here or in Europe? Hmm. Because I've only ever heard of the three, two or three big races here, but I guess they do this like almost every weekend, kind of like NASCAR. It's just only those three races really matter. Right. In horse country, like Kentucky, right? Yes. That's where it would be more popular. I don't know. It's it's a you have to be rich, period, this, to to be in it. This article is talking about a bunch of scandals that have plagued the horse racing industry in recent years. There's been three hundred and thirty six horses died from racing related injuries. Mm. Twelve horses died in the track within a month, Churchill Downs in twenty twenty, something, something. Oh, the uh, racehorse doping scheme. Yes. Steroid. That, that, that occurs every year. Yeah, but stupid. Mm-hmm. You know, you're, you know your horse is getting drug tested. Mm-hmm. Um, horse Racing Integrity and Safety Authority, mm-hmm. authorized by Congress. What does Congress have to do with horse racing? Do something productive, Congress. Mm-hmm. Please. You don't need to be involved in horse racing or racing of any kind. You shouldn't even have hands or feet to be able to be around a horse. I was trying to make that Stephen A. Smith reference again. We what? About, we were just talking about LeBron's um, teammates. His name Chris Bosh. He's like, Chris Bosh shouldn't have hands to touch a basketball in the fourth quarter of the NBA Finals. I have no idea what you're talking about. The, the um, Stephen A. Smith SNL skit that I showed you that I had referenced in the previous episode. Okay. Anyway. Actually, even an episode that we just recorded last week. Remember, I was talking about Elon Musk hanging on every word, listening, watching the podcast. You're like, no, he's not. No, no, he's not. (laughs) He's not. He might be. You never know. He's not. Especially now that I just said that he was procreating to be more masculine. he, He follows like random users. That like are like building a, a name or reputation for themselves. Like he follows Greg. Okay. He follows three year Letterman. Okay. He, so you just have to be persistent in your character and be in his replies on every single tweet. Is that what you've been trying to go for for the no. last five years? No. I haven't even really been back. I've been back on Twitter for like two years. You were on Twitter heavily before that, though. No, so. no, I was barely on Twitter. Oh, my God. You have been face deep in your phone since I met you, so I can yeah. only imagine how bad it was before I met I'm you. I'm on my phone. I'm working. I don't have any... We literally phone. have conversations with him like this, you where he's face deep in his phone, and I'm like, I'm, I'm right here. Hello. I'm all the time. Hello. Unfortunately, my job revolves around... Staying in front of people's face. Except for mine. I'm in your face all the time. I jump on the bed and force my face into your face when you're trying to scroll on your phone. That's what I did last night. Okay. Anyways. 
Oh, Cat Williams has a new special. Mm-hmm. Which, <coughs> which we should probably watch. Included a viral video from 2006. Uh, I believe this was on Netflix too, right? I have no idea. What was the viral video about? Who uh, was in it? What does it say? Woke Folk? Is that what that's called? New stand special Woke Folk? I can't read anything with yeah. your thing sideways and so small. Yeah. So all I'm just saying is... Uh, air live on the streamer. On the streamer. On one streamer. On Netflix, put it down, it says... May 4th, from a technical standpoint, the production seemed to go off without a hitch. From a content standpoint, Williams uh, rifed on hot topics like Nick Cannon's children, Trump's shoe line. He has a shoe line? <laughs> I guess. Uh, and topics that only Williams is brave enough to talk about. Ozempic. Oh, I was going to say Diddy. That's what I thought he was. you were going to say. But most perplexingly, he kicked off the special by playing a viral video of Soul that you probably remember... Um, it from the earliest days of YouTube. It's a new day and age. You can do anything. You can you can something even if it's a bad. I, this is, I'm I'm assuming this is the transcript, and I'm not just having a stroke. No, he's having a stroke for like sure. Like playing blind football. Oh, it's the video that I showed you. What video? The kid that's blind. I showed you like the remixed version of it where the kid's just oh. running on the field. That's what he's. <laughs> they said you can't play football if you're blind oh or something god. like that oh my god wow new day and age the video dating back to 2016 or 2006 is a new story of a blind child playing football which which a couple of years later was edited with an audio singing what the fuck is going on see you awesome. should watch you should watch this awesome. you would laugh yeah. uh, all right so we'll watch it this weekend guys and we'll let you know I mean, can you play blind football? You're goddamn right you can. But should you play blind football? Fuck no, is his quote. <laughs> I mean, uh, I don't disagree with him. Topical humor is clearly out, and humor about decades-old YouTube videos is so in. Okay. okay. Well, then you will make us lots of doll hairs because that's all you consume. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Well, not anymore. I don't have time. I'll get through like one. You play them in your brain on the daily. You're old like old videos. <laughs> yeah, old videos for sure. Right. That's what I'm saying. I've showed you guys so many culturally relevant old videos. I have brought much joy and happiness. Much joy. Much. Much joy. Much joy and happiness to our family and the dinner table. I definitely and... thought you were gonna say that he like ragged on Diddy. Oh, maybe he did, but they probably don't want to touch that. I'm just, I don't know. What uh, was this? Variety? Was that article? Vulture. Never heard of them. New York. Okay. Is that like the New Yorker or just I don't New know. York? No what idea. You and I are. New York Magazine. Okay. NYMag.com it says. Okay. Vulture is their. Online. The specific. It's probably just like a cultural brand. Okay. I don't know. I don't know anything about this stuff. I don't know shit about fuck is yep. what your normal phrase is. I don't know fuck about shit. I don't know shit about fuck. Okay. I don't know diddy about squat. Diddy about squat. Squat about diddy. Yeah. Diddly. Diddly squat. That's the one. But it's diddy. Yeah, that's the one. Diddy probably squatted on somebody. So did you hear that Britney Spears changed her name? When? Like a week or two ago. Oh, no. X-I-L-A. I don't even know how to pronounce that. Her last name? Or no, her, her first, that's her only name. Isla? Sure. And she said she's having a hard time understanding English now. That is... She changed her name, and now she doesn't understand English. Does she thinks she's Madonna, or does she keep Spears as the last name? Nope, I think that's it. Just no Britney, no Spears, just... Is it changed legally? I don't know. I don't know. But her Instagram is deleted now. So, is it deleted or did she change it or hide it? Deleted. She de she also um, was not the one who was in control of it. Her conservatorship. Her dad. Yeah, I'll just. I have some, was the one. I have some important pictures to show you. Oh. Would you like that flag? <laughs> Where is that at? Come and take it. Yeah. The the. 
for anybody, because I'm not going to show this on here, it's the uh, Texas Canon flag that says come and take it, but instead of... Why are you not going to show it on... Yes, we do want to be monetized at some point. Oh. You can find okay. it. It's on Reddit. Uh, on subscribe podcast Reddit is where I found it. Okay. Come and take it. Yeah, C-U-M. Mm-hmm. And it's a vibrator instead of a cannon. And a star. This is one of their shirts that they're selling that I'm totally buying. Born to bath, full metal spectrum. So it's a play on uh, full metal jacket, and it says born to kill. Okay. But obviously, it's autism. Autism, crayons, choo-choo train, Thomas Aust- the train. Okay. Who who posted this picture? It's a, a, a somebody that bought it. It's okay, not their I was about to say yeah. they really need to step but, up their game. But you know, it's my most hated yes T-shirt blank because yes. they're inconsistent. Very, but they're soft at least. Yeah. Picture of Eli here that no one knows. Two pictures of Eli, really. Picture number one is Eli smiling, the hand that holds my phone when I look at porn, and then the other one is Eli, my other hand, the hand that he's using, and then. The American measuring system. 242 dicks. Yeah. Americans Americans will use literally anything else to measure than use the metric system. It's true. It's true. I do want to know what that. So why did you need to show me these pictures? I don't know. I just thought it'd be fun for you to react to them. Did Eli make. And then you didn't react. Did Eli make that meme himself or did somebody make it for him no um angry cops uh he does what is that youtube channel whatever everything else he's also on the podcast their podcast a lot unsubscribe podcast okay um he has a uh a recurring show where it's uh i'm confusing his show with aka the ak guys ak guy has gun meme review angry cops i think it's just angry meme review and usually it'll be topical stuff, either dealing with the military, government, police, like current event stuff, like those kind of categories. Mm-hmm. And he'll release a template. So he'll start off the show by giving you, giving the audience their homework. Mm-hmm. And that image on the right was what he most, the most recent episode that I watched was him presenting that saying, here's your, here's your homework for the next one. And so that is what somebody produced out of that. I had a couple. One of them, mine was uh, when it's 3 a.m. and you really want to go to Taco Bell, but no one will drive you. Been drinking too much. Were you the picture or was it somebody else the picture? No, just in general. I knew people would relate to it. No, I'm asking. You made the meme, right? Was it a picture of you or was it a picture of somebody else? No, you used the picture of Eli. Oh, okay. 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 Anyways, did you see... The supply list for University of Chicago's encampment that was posted and and demanded that they are supplied of or with. No, but I do want to jump in here real quick before you read this. One of these Bozo students uh, had the audacity to go out and essentially threaten the police and say, don't violently block our food supply or something and the reporter's like have have the police tried that and Mm -hmm. she's like no but they better not when you just throw out stupid shit like that Mm -hmm. nobody takes you seriously you only hurt whatever cause that you think you're supporting you're only hurting it Mm -hmm. nobody takes you seriously nobody's even doing anything to you yeah so this is what like a list of demands. A whole list of demands. Okay. All right, medical temp, me- medical tent, medical tent, not medical temp, medical tent. And here's the list that they need: okay. table, heat gloves, wound packing gauze, portable chargers, very important. Gauze, tourniquets, ace bandages. Now let's jump down a little bit. HIV tests, dental dams, plan B, diva cups, chapstick, goggles, trauma shears, Did you see, and Vaseline. I don't I don't remember which one. One of them, one of them had a sign. They had one of those um actually it was a it was a dry erase board. It was a, like a jumbo dry mm-hmm. erase board. They had it like leaning up outside the entrance of mm-hmm. their camp. And like rule number four was 
uh, mind, no mind your personal hygiene. Yeah, no sex was one of the rules on there, but uh, mind your personal hygiene or something like that. And they're like, the irony. Yeah. What are you guys going to do? Take shifts going home to take showers? Right. And the best part is they all have the same tent. How does that happen? Yeah. Capitalism. Okay. But but let's talk about these HIV tests and dental dams and plan B. Like this is typical communists. They want <laughs> they they want you to give them everything, but they need capitalism in order for it to work. Like seriously. So there's a there's a Pokémon. It's like Star something, Starro, something like that, and then there's like one that it evolves to. So it's like it's a star, and then it evolves to something else. Like it's like Starro, Star Me, and then the uh, communist red star with the oh my sticker, god, it says Starving. You know how you solve the? Okay, first of all, I want to make this statement. I want to make this loud and clear. If you support Hamas, you're a fucking Nazi. Full stop. You're a Nazi in a different uniform. You are a Nazi. And they're Democrats, which is dead on with that demographic. And the next thing I want to say is the solution to these encampments, lime throws and napalm. I knew you were fucking going to say that. I was gonna, I was waiting for you to say light it all on fire. That's I, what I thought you were going to say. Light it all new, on fire. I have fire. a new idea. Napalm sticks to Nazis. YouTube. Listen to me for a second. This is not something I made up. There is a cadence in the military that includes the line, napalm sticks to babies. It comes from Vietnam. I did not make this up, but I have adapted it to napalm sticks to Nazis. And I hope we do understand that we all hate Nazis. Yes, we yeah. do. So, protesters, you're dumb. You're not, you're not helping. Okay, so, um, actually, angry cops, and I think uh, Donut, and others have made this case and they've made it clear. So when you when you hold an actual protest, it's coordinated. Mm -hmm. You actually have to take out in a lot of areas. There's obviously various different rules and, and statutes and stuff like that. However, when you are having a protest, you actually do have to get permits. Mm -hmm. And it has to have like timeline and mm -hmm. everything like that. So they're actually not protesting. They are committing civil disobedience. And they will be charged. There have already been students from a couple of the schools that, you know, have gone to little, had their little press conferences. And they've been identified by the schools and they've been suspended. Mm -hmm. So they've not been allowed to graduate. And then now they're crying about it, how it's not fair. Yeah. Yeah, it's not fair that you destroyed public property. Mm -hmm. Or what? What do you actually think you're going to get out of this? Right. Nothing. For one, Hamas doesn't like you. Mm -hmm. Why would you support them? Right. Why would you ever support your enemy? Ever. Who? I don't, I, I can't think of anybody that would be logical enough to support Al-Qaeda or ISIS or especially not publicly. And Hamas is the same thing. They don't, for one, they don't like Americans. They don't like Western culture. They don't like you having your freedom, especially if you're a woman. Mm -hmm. They will behead you for being anything other than straight. Mm -hmm. Go and say that you don't anybody, you don't want America to police police the world, but then you want us to police people that don't even support your ideology. But you want us you want us to do that, but you don't want us to do it when there's actually you know assaults on you know world humanitarian efforts and you know crimes against humanity and stuff you don't want that you want that to happen but you want the people that are committing the crimes against humanity to be supported by us and our tax dollars it's it doesn't make any fucking sense no it doesn't you know, blocking bridges and all that other stuff we're we're disrupting you're not making anybody like you. Mm -hmm. You are doing everything to prevent what you stand for from happening. Anybody that might have otherwise been level-headed and would have listened to you no longer wants to because you got them fired from work or 
you stop their child from getting to the hospital by ambulance, or you mug them and drag them out of their car and beat them to death. And they have originally, in some cases, they've had the same political allegiance as you had. And you thought that dragging them out of their car into the street and kicking their head in was going to win them over. Not only are you making an enemy of the people that don't support you, but you're also making an enemy of the people that do support you. You're burning your own bridges. Facts. We're at 4630. What's your feel good story? We should end on that. I don't have one. You don't have one at all? I have one. Okay. It's that. I woke up this morning. And my beautiful wife was still laying there in bed with me. Still. And she gave me the biggest smile and said, I love you too. When I said, I love you. Are you delusional? No, this is, that's exactly <laughs> what happened this morning. I was there. You were there. Yeah. Where were you at? <laughs> the fact that you were like, she was still there. Yeah, your robot clone. <laughs> as, next to me. As, if, as if I. Because people were like, how the fuck did she put up with him? Yeah, I don't know. See, I woke up and she was still there, guys. It means I'm doing something right. Anyways. Anyways. That's been my feel good story. You sure you don't have anything? I'm sure I don't. You still have the scent of diarrhea stuck in your nose? No, no. I'm good. I'm I'm able to tolerate just about anything in life. Mm. All right. Well, I think that's it for us. Hopefully the audio on these two episodes is good so we can get- Actually, that's a perfect The fact that I can tolerate dog shit without mm-hmm. gagging and cleaning it up and I can tolerate you without gagging. Facts. Nah. I'm just a bit able to tolerate all of your bullshit and all of the dog shit. I don't want any bullshit. I love you. Love you too. Sure. Sure. Bye. Bye.